All right. Ladies and gentlemen, Benjamin here. I wanted to show you a, uh, some modifications that I did to my Cyclone PCB CNC mill. Um, one of the first things that I used was instead of a Dremel motor, which just did not have enough torque, uh, I use a NTM prop drive 5050 580 kV motor along with some off brand 100 amp brushless ESC. And in order to control that, I just have a Fataba with a 72 megahertz radio, which is no longer used uh, for flying. I just don't. I uh, upgraded to a higher channel radio, and this one's only four. Anyway, um, what I had to do to make this work was I had to build little mounting plates. As you see there, they are green. Um, I personally don't like the color green, but these things, watch. They survive the drop test. And if they do that, then that tells me they're going to be all right. Whereas, as you see this box of failed prints, and yeah, I have tried with other colors. Uh, let's just say I made a double A battery holder. Look at that. It just falls apart. Junk. Uh, let's see if I can get into this one. Maybe not. Anyway, yeah, just, just, just junk. And these are failed green prints because I didn't have the, the temperature set right. And just observe. Look at that. Oops. Well, maybe that might have been too much, but anyway. You know, it's pretty thin. I'm giving that a good squeeze. These right here, like this one right here, unfortunately, I didn't have enough heat. I was just playing around with it, just trying to be cheap, I guess. Didn't have enough heat. But this thing probably weighs, this thing weighs a couple ounces. So I made these with 50% infill. You ain't breaking that. And if you see these right here, I don't know if you can see them or not. Now that I got temperature settings right, no warping. So that is why I chose to use and I also sell on eBay uh, username project 23d this design and like I said I use the green uh, I came up with these these uh, adapter plates will come with it an eight millimeter washer fits in there I don't know if you can see that and then this particular motor has an eight millimeter shaft and this motor is very easy to take apart uh, you just need to be a bit strong because it has the uh, rare earth magnets the neodymium earth magnets in it and uh, those are very strong so if you don't know what you're doing you will snap your fingers so anyway uh, give you a demonstration here just use the radio uh, for the speed control which is good anyway so it, it goes about 10,000 rpm I'm sorry 11,000 rpm um, up to and this uh, this was my first just playing around with it manual control this right here was designed. It did that in less than 30 seconds. So, and that's uh, that's a tenth of a millimeter into the copper PCB. And then I said, "What the heck? Why not? Let's try this. This is a old uh, aluminum plate. Uh, this thing probably weighs almost a pound. Uh, this is from a uh, from a Motorola bag phone, and uh, so it's not cheap Chinese aluminum." I did the exact same thing. No stress. Did not shake. Did not jitter or anything in 30 seconds. Um, or whatever the same amount of time it took to do that so pretty impressive anyways like I said I sell these things on eBay uh, if you have any questions please ask um, comment and share thanks